there are a lot of misconceptions about tattoos and body art in general around the world. And of course, Ghana is no different. There's stigma around the art and those who do it, mainly because, you know, a lot of people don't have enough knowledge of it. And in this video, I'm going to share with you some things you should know about tattoos, just to give you some enlightenment about this art form. If it's something you've wanted to do for a long time, then hopefully this video will help with some of your doubts. Today we're going to my friend's place at Jolu. It's a 1410 studio and we're going for a micro tattoo for someone who's doing it for the first time. So yeah, let's get to it. This is me, Frankie. So this is the guy who did my tattoo or does my tattoos. This is a 1410 studio, rebranded. Studio. You know. Yeah. What's up, guys? So <laughs> today, my sister is getting her tattoo. First one. First tattoo. Scary. Yeah. It's good. Hello, hello. I'm pussy. I ain't getting no tattoos. Okay. So I'm ready. Even before I got my tattoos, I heard a lot of things about it growing up, like, you know, tattoos are an instant skin cancer sentence, which is untrue. It is, however, advised to seek the consent of a dermatologist or a doctor if you are prone to certain skin conditions because your skin is sensitive, or you might develop keloids, which is the most common after effect of getting tats. There's also the cultural aspect of getting tattoos and it being a Western thing and shouldn't be copied, which for me is very funny in so many ways because Growing up, I saw some of our mothers with tattoos, especially traders who traveled a lot in a time where there were not IDs available to everyone. So they would tattoo all their information on their arm in case they needed to be identified if there was an accident. And I bet those weren't done in these sanitary conditions that we have now. Is your airdrop on? Tranking, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, this. What's the symbol? It's an H. And what is an H? Yeah, just H. H? Yes, the letter H. H. Yes. It's not like an initial or anything. It, well, it oh, is. No. Mm -hmm. It is an initial to so okay so the tattoo is my aunt like she's called Hilda and she was oh, okay. to me. Alright. So you lost her? No no no. No, no yet. No, not even not yet. No, like no, I haven't lost her. She's not she's not gonna die. No, never. She lives she lives forever. So yeah. So and the placement as well. Where do you wanna put it? Um, like right here. Okay. Right here. Probably said this tends to fade quickly. When yeah, it's here? because uh, you have a lot of wrinkles down here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't fade completely. Sometimes it will fade completely. Sometimes the ink will just bloat out. Mm -hmm. See, so you won't have the lines crispy clean like that. So wait. If you put it where there's skin, yeah. like this, you can stretch. You see, you pull a line, it sits right mm -hmm. under the skin, so the tattoo remains crispy clean. Okay, so yeah. so yeah, so wait. I mean, you're the expert, so. Okay. That's where you want to put it. Yeah. So how big are you going for this? Um, not big, so let's see if I'm What's doing... a 50 pesos coin? What's a f okay, if so I'm using my measurements, I'd probably do... You do what? Oof. Right, so here I actually measure out my... Yeah, like this is small, like two two inches is actually kind of big, so like... Yeah, this is two inches. Okay. So one inch? This, you can do... 1.5. 1.5. Yeah. To be on the safe side, you can do one inch as well. Yeah, one inch. Okay. One inch so, as well. And that will work. Yeah, one inch is fine. So, uh, if that's it, I'll just dance it out and I can get to work. Okay. okay. So this is what usually happens in a professional tattoo studio like 1410 Studio. You may have your design or an idea that needs polishing by the artist or say bringing it to life. Sometimes you just want something original from the artist, which they may usually have a catalog for you to choose from. 
A lot of people like to have sentimental art pieces, but for some lovers of tattoos, they just get art pieces they think look cool for the art's sake and not necessarily of any sentimental value. Whatever your choice, discuss how you want it done and where you want to place it with the size and angle of placement and everything that needs to be done before it's permanently inked on your skin. Before you go ahead and sign that consent form that you agree to do this and that you accept responsibility for it. All these steps are very important and that's why you should only use professional tattoo artists. Now, let's get the tat done, shall we? I'm of the belief that a tattoo studio shouldn't give you the jitters because of how lackluster the processes are and how the artist may seem unbothered about your concerns, like how clean the setup is, his professional demeanor and all that. It's important that your experience is that of a calm one, which inspires a lot of confidence. The artist should be patient, should make you feel involved in every step of the way, especially with placement and design size and whatnot before you decide. opening a brand new needle in front of you and possibly talking you through how intense or not the process is going to be. That's the kind of experience that I usually get at 1410 Studio, so it makes it easy for me to recommend them to both experienced tattoo lovers as well as newbies who want to start by getting their first tattoo. So, here's a summary of what you should know about tattoos. Yes, they are permanent, however, there are ways that they can be erased with laser technology if for some reason you want to. And of course, tattoos do hurt, but it also depends on where on your body it will be as well as your pain threshold. Your artist can advise. Always make sure the conditions are very sterile or tidy and professional, especially with needles and other things that may be used on your skin. They should be new, they should be clean, they should make you feel comfortable. Prices may vary from artist to artist. Do your research well. If it's too cheap to be true, then you probably may regret it. If it's your first time, possibly start small. Test your pain threshold and how well you like it as well as how you may react to it after getting it. Make sure your aftercare is followed to the T. Do not skip your care or it might get infected or something may go wrong. If in doubt, seek a doctor's advice first. I've also left the details of uh, 1410 Studio in the description box below. Feel free to contact them for your professional tattoos or ink jobs. That's it from me for today. Adios. I hope you learned something about tattoos. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.